So tell me, what are y'all doing here? Uh, right now, we are waiting on missions from the uh, Norwegians uh, to fire. Today, we're doing a prep fire and, and uh, to set conditions for the uh, live fire that's happening tomorrow. Uh, so right now, we're just waiting for the process to go from the Norwegians all the way down to our level so we can distribute it out to our platoon. Tell me a little bit about that process. So the Norwegians will actually uh, generate a target for us. Uh, at that point, they'll be speaking with the Anglico team from the Marine Corps. Um, they will put it in a, in a way that we could actually read it and they will send us the mission. At that point, uh, we'll be able to distribute it out to our platoon uh, who's with the launchers and ready to fire. Um, how has this worked to build interoperability between you and the Norwegians? Oh, it's been great. Uh, so it's, it's helped us uh, understand how they actually uh, build the mission, how they actually uh, see using launchers in the future, future fight. So um, at this point, like I said, the Norwegians will, will actually select the target using their assets and uh, it'll change into how we are able to fire it. So, so. would you say it, it helps integrate, you know, your buyer's asset with theirs for a multi-domain or a multinational partnership? Absolutely. Uh, it allows them to get comfortable with how we operate and us to be comfortable how they operate to get a smooth transition in the future. Uh, if need be. So. Um, so how has it been here? Oh, it's been great. Uh, the Norwegians have been very uh, welcoming to us. Uh, we've had a lot of, of, of chance to, uh, to cross-train with them. Our other elements have been able to cross-train with them, um, not just our field artillery unit. So it's been a really good time. We've, we've been able to learn a lot from the Norwegians. Yeah. Can, can you tell me a little bit about what you're doing here today? Yeah, we are uh, firing live rockets with the Norwegian Army, uh, synced in with U.S. Marines, um, really working on interoperability, uh, fire mission processing, all the way from um, observers, whether that's F-16s in the air, or Marine observers on the ground, or Norwegian FOs, all the way up through their brigade element, where they're linked in with us, push down to our launchers, and then we hit the target. So tell me about your weapon system. Yeah, this is the uh, Mike 270 Alpha 1 MLRS. It shoots uh, 12 rockets or two ATACMS missiles. Um, today we are, are firing uh, rockets, so six, uh, six rounds going down range uh, for each launcher, one pod. What kind of capabilities does this add to, um, to Corey? What kind of capabilities does this thing add to like NATO? Yeah, so what MLRS really does for NATO is allows long range precision fires uh, throughout Europe. And uh, we're showing here today, we're up above the Arctic Circle, so we're able to stretch out to the furthest reaches of NATO and provide that capability. So how has it been here for you guys so far? Um, my soldiers have loved it. I've loved it. The, the Norwegians are uh, extremely hospitable. Uh, they've synced us in entirely with their Arty Battalion, with uh, Brigade North, uh, working hand in hand and, and building a really great partnership. Um, so tell me a little uh, interoperability. What have you done with your Norwegian counterparts? Um, so since we've been boots on ground, uh, we've been working with the Norwegian Army, integrated with them through the planning process, as well as working out some details on how to fire long range precision fires on the range they have here at Setter Mount. So kind of tell me what we're going to see tomorrow. Uh, Brigade North is conducting a large uh, combined arms live fire exercise. They're having multiple battalions move down through the area while sinking uh, uh, fires from our MORS uh, to their uh, K-9 cannon systems, their mortars, as well as having F-16s flying overhead and, uh, dry, and dropping live ordnance. So is there anything that you'd like to add? We're really excited to be here uh, working with the Norwegians. I think we've uh, We've, we've tackled a big challenge of moving this far north into the Arctic Circle, working closely with the Norwegians. And it's a relationship that uh, is the beginning of something for us in 41st to be able to build on in the future. Yeah. Um, 
So how was the how was it viewing the live fire? It was great. You know what we uh, witnessed today that was a, uh, a tactical exercise, live firing with the artillery and artillery, uh, U.S. artillery, fully integrated in the Norwegian uh, artillery battalion. Uh, so and uh, together this is a joint combined event. <laughs> so it proves that we are fully integrated. So it was really good to see. And do you see like something like this going forward and this co kind of cooperation, seeing more? Yeah, I think this is only one activity. We try to do this in all domains, both. Uh, air, uh, land and uh, at sea uh, together and we try to do this regularly to integrate our forces both under the US command or under the Norwegian command but then we need to have the same procedure so we may integrate the systems together. And so you're saying you know being one being together as part of NATO how does this help support the larger issue and the larger NATO security? I think uh, Norway uh, joined NATO in 1945 knowing that we need some good friends to have a relevant alliance we need to train exercise together and operate together. You know, we have been 20 years in Afghanistan together. Now we take the same procedure back home and use it to defend our own countries.